Good morning. Does God warn even the false prophets? We're in Jeremiah 23, verses 37 to 40. Thus you shall say to the prophet, What has the Lord answered you, and what has the Lord spoken? But since you say the oracle of the Lord, therefore thus says the Lord, because you say this word, the oracle of the Lord, and I have sent to you, saying, Do not say the oracle of the Lord. Therefore, behold, I, even I, will utterly forget you and forsake you and the city that I gave you and your fathers and will cast you out of my presence, and I will bring an everlasting reproach upon you and a perpetual shame which shall not be forgotten. Uh, there's hard to imagine a more despicable thing than to be a false prophet. Jeremiah 23 makes it very clear. God is very unhappy with the false prophets, and yet, and yet he's, he's warning them. He's giving them warnings. I mean, the only possible conclusion we can draw from this is God's trying to still save some of them. You'd think that, you know, maybe these guys are in a different category. They've gone too far. God's mercy doesn't extend to them. And yet, these warnings must be there so that some of them, some, will turn. So here's a warning. If they don't turn back from their false work, God will let them be taken captive and even die in Babylon. Their families will end. They will not prosper. They won't. Their children won't survive or they won't have children there. They come to an end. And God is telling them, he's giving them this warning. Hey, you need to turn back. You need to turn back. I've had it with you. Come, please, turn back. If they destroy Jerusalem with their lies, God will utterly forsake that city. And besides that, Jeremiah, the very one whom these guys are persecuting, God is giving a message through Jeremiah telling these people, warning them, please turn back. Please return to me. Now, there's um, quite a merciful God. We, we hear that God, this Old Testament God, was such a, a bad, uh, vicious sort. But when we actually look at what the Bible says, we find that he's very long-suffering. He's very patient. His mercy just extends and extends and extends. It's not a foolish mercy, but he's trying to save as many as possible. So don't fall for that lie that God is kind of a mean old troll living under the bridge. He's a very loving and precious person. He's trying even to save these despicable false prophets. Some of them, doubtless, could turn and be saved. God's mercies are fresh and new every morning, even for those who are working in opposition to him, even for those who are seeking to destroy hearts and souls, even who at this moment are aligned as enemies against him. He's trying to redeem them and win them back. Oh, friends, may the false prophets and the false teachers in our day, may they turn back in time. Now, right now, you look around, some of these characters may seem to prosper. You know, their websites, their podcasts, their, their TV programs may be doing great guns. They may be raking in all kinds of dollars and uh, they're driving fancy cars, uh, you know, whatever. But God wants them to turn and be with him in the kingdom, just like he wants all of us in the kingdom. Their websites and all their things may fall out into the world like the frogs of the Nile, but God wants them to come back. You know, you and I will always find our best approach by going to God's word directly and praying to him and speaking with him directly. And his word will show us his, his facts that we want to build on. Hey, let's pray together. Dear Father in heaven, there's many voices in our world all, all claiming to be talking to us from you. And yet, Lord, there are very few voices, it seems, that truly are in harmony with the Bible. Help us, Lord, to be right. Thank you for your showing yourself a merciful God, even to the false preachers, the false prophets. Lord, help them turn back. Show them the way. Bring us all together, Lord, and we can all just be thankful that you helped us all be turned. Because every one of us, without you, would be lost. And every one of us can only be saved through Jesus. Bless us and keep us and grow us, Lord. Help us to be right. We thank you for hearing our prayer in Jesus' name. Amen. So remember... God tries even to save the false prophets. Uh, top that. Hey, God be with you today in all that you do.